This is it, guys. We went from we came from a long way, all the way to stop this robot madness, and here we are with the finale of SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. Let's play. Let's end this once and for all. SpongeBob Metal Pants. SpongeBob Metal Pants. SpongeBob Metal Pants. So what this guy likes to do? Well, you saw he can elastic arm. Oh, I can't watch. Okay, maybe something. Oh, whoops. So what you saw right there, um, SpongeBob can do. Metal Pants can uh, stretch his arm and do like a karate chop across the screen. And then after he's done that twice, he wants to. Um, and after that's done, he's gonna go on your face and try to do some karate chops with can flinch platforms. So be careful. That's the and while you're doing that, um, robot Plankton will be on your will be on your chest, uh, trying to shoot you down with his uh flying machine gun thingy. And the robot is down. So avoid his projectiles. And then shoot a cruise ball at his face. And then go for the next one. Oh. And then next attack, he's gonna shout out Karate. And you might want to be careful because they can deal damage. After all, after all words can hurt. And see what I did there? Yeah, that joke I know. And then you can repeat the tactic. Go up. Go for the side. I'm gonna get some underpants. You can't attack. You can't attack metal pants when you're on the ground. So, yeah, just be in the air as long as you can. Karate. And Johnny, oh my god, will you go away, please? Alright, here goes the next pattern. Chop, 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 and chop. Go for the nose. That's it. Done. Supposed to get married next. 
says it best. As for you, Plankton, shut up, because you're the one who was behind all this, and therefore you had to own up to your mistakes by paying them. But nope, we have to do them. Yeah, nice going, Plankton. Nice going. Will SpongeBob be able to neutralize the giant robot's brain? Or will SpongeBob go home defeated and dejected? Stay tuned. And here we are, the final part. Once you enter this area, there's no turning back. So, let me explain how this works. You have a rematch against many robots. The Tartar, the Hammers, and the Gulov, Chuck, Monsoon, and Fodor. So after you get a rematch with all those robots, what you want to do next is destroy the machine, and then Robot Plankton will be on your butt. After that's done, you have to shoot a cruise bubble at Robot Plankton, and then when that's done, you have to do some platforming, and you have to destroy not three, not four, not five, not six, but seven fuses in order to end this part. And why is this, uh, so hard? Well, it's not hard to many people, but it is for me. Like I said, seven fuses to complete the game. So what's so hard about it? You see the health bar up there? You notice how there is six underpants? That means when you're going through this one part... There's the robot vulnerability! Let's see if SpongeBob goes for it! Out of the six underpants, you can only get hit five times because one more hit after that, and you're going to be start to doing this tactic all over again from square one. Right? Because there's no underpants to repel it from hell. That's right, there are no checkpoints, and you got no help to replenish yourself. So you want to do this one, this one part flawlessly. Well, not flawlessly, but deathless. You can get hit five times, you just can't hit get hit a six time. And trust me, you do not want to start all over. And what's the worst part about it? Johnny won't shut up! Okay, Johnny, we get it. Do you have to keep saying that all over again? Oh, yeah? Let's get this chalk. Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on. You also really gotta love the music. One of the best final boss themes in video game history. What I really hate about Robot Plankton is that when you try to go for the cruise bubble on this. Hold on one. Nah. So what I was saying about Robot Plankton, what I really hate about him is that when you try to like cruise bubble his face, um, he will either try to move away, which you'll miss, or you will, or where you swear you hit him, but it just flat out missed, or better yet, um, I think that's it. Now, no matter how many times you use a cruise ball on Robot Plankton, he won't stay down. So there are three more left. That's one. That giant robot brain has to have vulnerability somewhere. All right, here's the second one. Come on, come on, come on, SpongeBob. We can do this. One more, just one more. Come on, SpongeBob. Come on. One more hit. Let's go. Yes. Yes. Yeah.
plans ruined. That does it. I'm becoming a lawyer. You haven't defeated me yet. I still have lots of robots all over me. I'll summon them all, and they will see. Oh no! I'll destroy you. You'll destroy me. I'll destroy you. I hope you learned your lesson. Oh, I certainly did. Next time I'll get it right. <laughs> Ouch! Who won? Who wants to get ice cream? I do, I do. Need I remind you all that there are still robots out there making a mess of Bikini Bottom? Sandy is right. Well, I thought she was a squirrel. I'm being punished. I don't know for what, but I'm being punished. There's still work to be done out there. But I know the Particle Boy wouldn't stop, and neither will I. We can't rest until the Bikini Bottom is safe. And those will lead us to the next two SpongeBob games, the movie video game and Truth or Score for the Nintendo Wii. But we're not gonna hit those yet. Are you ready, kids? Oh my God, Captain! I can't hear you. Oh my God, Captain! Who? Who? Who has a fight for your see? when you get 100%. Now we're into the circus, I believe, where we can take control of Spongebob and go around through an obstacle course and get as many shiny objects as we can. Now this is a nice distraction. I'm not kidding. I love the ending level distraction thing. I could play this for hours. And as the ending credits, you'd really tell it's from downtown Bikini Bottom music. And what's really cool, you, no matter which button you press, except for the triangle button, you don't go back to normal Spongebob. So yeah, that was Spongebob Squarepants Battle for Bikini Bottom. Overall, it's a fantastic masterpiece that every single person must buy. It is that good of a game, and I highly recommend anybody who's looking for a great licensed video game. Yeah, this came out in 2003, and... It's already 2016, but still, it's aged pretty well, and I recommend everybody gets it. My final verdict for the game is a 9.5 out of 10. One half of the issues that I have is the bosses. Creative, but I really wish they didn't put obvious weak points, which is something I can't stand. But overall, I had a lot of fun with this game. Now, like I said in one of my parts, I was going to do a bonus video it was on the things that I didn't show during my LP. Like the demo, the extras, the glitches, alternate slide paths, all that stuff. And then after the bonus videos, we're going to go back to Mortal Kombat 9 and do the one thing that everybody has been waiting for. Me playing MK9 Story Mode on Expert Difficulty. So, let's roll around the circus a little bit. Circus? Remind me of the Britney Spears uh, circus song. I highly recommend that song too. Even though it hasn't aged very well. Nickelodeon. When there's a finish line, we'll get there later. Oh, I need to 
find a way to get that shiny uh, that purple shiny object. Smart Square Pants Bowser Bikini Bottom. Developed by Heavy Iron. And THQ! <sighs> seriously! Like, why did THQ go out of business? I mean, seriously! Why did THQ had to go out of business? And why doesn't Heavy Iron Studios own SpongeBob anymore? Oh, wait, that's right, because Activision now holds the license. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Activision? I mean, yes, they have made good licensed movie games. Ice Age 3 for the Nintendo Wii, Kung Fu Panda for the PlayStation 2. Trust me, my brother Zombie Kid, he knows about this. We both talked about it, and he knows about this. But what happens next to Activision? Oh, they make boring Call of Duty games now. Which, uh, I kind of have Modern Warfare 3, which is hated by many. And for me, it was a guilty pleasure. I mean, don't get me wrong, I, there's a lot of problems with the game, but I can still make it fine. Now, Call of Duty Black Ops Declassified, that's another story. But I don't want to talk about that game. I just don't. Back on topic, what does Activision do? They make two of the worst Spongebob games in history. Plankton's Robotic Revenge and Spongebob Hero Pants. And it's hated by many gamers. I believe me, guys. It's, those games, they are really terrible. And what's the worst part about it is that Activision, they won't let Heavy Iron Studios, like, join forces with them. They, like, they won't allow Activ uh, uh, Heavy Iron Studios, uh, take the SpongeBob license anymore. Like, what the heck? Alright, I need to find a way to get into those tunnels. And I'm gonna f try my best to get to the purple shiny objects. Can't make it. How do I get that purple shiny object? Hmm. Whoa, that was a cool. Come on, I know I can make that purple shiny object. I just gotta have a good balance. For a little cheer up, guys. How about that one? I no, 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 I got it, I got it, got it. Come on, come on. Yes, oh, no, oh, I, I was so close. Let's try this again. And thank you, Heavy Iron Studios, for making this fantastic game. I really hope you get the license back again. Come on, I know I can do this. If I don't, then I'm gonna have to cut it out until I get it. I'm trying to get out, guys. I finally got it. I finally got it! Now let's move on to the finish line! Bikini Bottom And now, after you're done with everything, you can just pretty much do every anything! I'm not kidding guys, look! Now it turns into a sandbox kind of game, since you can do everything now! So, that's been my Let's Play of SpongeBob SquarePants Bob for Bikini Bottom. I will see you guys at the bonus video.